this is what we call the Live Strong commercial, no, I'm only joking. Uh, life here in Cape Town, as Lance Armstrong has now found out, is pretty special, and he's enjoyed his few days here, and he's raised a lot of money for a good reason here in Cape Town. But, you know, talking Live Strong now, I reckon we've got at least another 100,000 wristbands being worn around the Western Cape here in South Africa, and Live Strong in the future will have a big part here. This is the Expo, it's the exhibition which has grown with the Argus Pick and Pay Cycle Tour. What the organisers say is absolutely true. It is the biggest entry of any bicycle race in the world. It's capped now at 38,000. Take off probably a 20% uh, non-show and non-finish rate. You still have more than 30,000 cyclists finish this event. It's an amazing festival for everyone. You don't want to race it, you ride it. You'll always get a time whether you want it or not. Of course for Lance, he'll start in the front group. And really he's the first big celebrity to come here and actually race it. We've had Miguel Ingerain, we've had Jan Ulrich, we've had Laurent Fignon, we've had Eddie Merckx. They rode as the celebrities and just had a happy pedal. Day two at the Argus uh, Bike Expo. We're here at the Livestrong booth, uh, number 151. If you happen to be in the neighborhood, come by and see us. We're going to have uh, Team Radio Shack's Daryl Impey stopping by for a signing. Uh, it's actually a really cool day here. There are thousands and thousands of people coming through. Uh, we're happy to share it and uh, hope you like what you're seeing so far. So uh, enjoy the day of the expo with us. more different things about the Argus is that uh, every participant fills out a medical questionnaire. Uh, that data, mostly used to make sure that the riders are safe to ride, is then screened by their medical committee. And if they see something they think might need looking at, they'll ask the riders to come in and they get free medical checkups. And that could be anything from looking for diabetes, a heart condition, so on and so forth. It's a pretty amazing uh, benefit uh, being part of the race and uh, very, very well supported by the riders. in Cape Town. You know, the weather's been really good and uh, I think Lance has enjoyed what he's, what he's seen of the Cape and uh, it's been fun, uh, you know, living it up with him. So uh, I've had a really good good time here in South Africa and we've had a lot of uh, a lot of people coming up to us and uh, it's been really nice. Uh, I brought when you came and you saw this booth, you see all these dedication things on the wall. Is that kind of yeah. brings home how what camp is like? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, what, by the amount of names that you can just see around us, you know, that uh, cancer is a big thing in South Africa. So what better than to have Livestrong here to, to carry the message through to the South African people and also to let other people who, are, who have cancer to, to let them know that they're not alone. Oh yeah, well, we know you know we here in South Africa. We might as well, might as well try our best. So uh, you know, I'm from South Africa, and it's a big race, biggest race in South Africa. So I'll be trying to obviously try and win the race but, uh, with Lance, but uh, hopefully Team Radio Shack, we can do it. Team Radio Shack times two, right? That's yeah, Team Radio Shack times two. We're a, we're a small unit, but a powerful unit. Um, what's it like coming home to, uh, to something like this for Lance? Uh, it's definitely, it's just made the event times too, you know, like uh, already we have 38,000 people here, but I think uh, the spectators that we're going to see on Sunday is going to be double that, so, or way more than that, so I think uh, having Lance around, you know, we've been riding along the coast and the amount of people that have just turned around on their rides to try and join in with us, and uh, it's been incredible having him here. It's a short race uh, for us, but uh, for the South African guys, it's like a world championship. So, uh, you know, there's teams there that have got eight guys, and uh, also the, ro the race the race is pretty pretty decided on the last two climbs on Chapman's Peak and Sakerbosti. So, hopefully, by the time we get there, we can get a smaller group, and uh, a, a bunch finish is pretty likely in this event. 
Uh, the next race for me is Milan San Remo, and then I'll follow by Catalonia, Tour of Flanders, and uh, Perry Bay. So exciting calendar coming up. And everything so far so good with the team? Yeah, it's incredible with this team. Uh, you know, I feel like I've got a new lease on life with this team. I think HIV, well, you know, they're two different things. So hopefully that uh, this message will be carried through to other cancers. To cancer patients and survivors. So you know Lance better than all of us, I guess. Um, when he came back from, from this disease, yeah. what, what kind of person is he? Is he a fighter? What, what is he? Well, he's definitely a survivor and he's a, he's a fighter, you know. I think what Lance has shown, you know, coming back from cancer is that uh, anything can be done. You know, to win the Tour de France just as a normal guy, not as a survivor, is one thing. But coming back after cancer and winning the Tour seven times, that sends out a strong message to anyone.